What is up you guys? I'm about to go inside of Ulta. I haven't been in here in a while. I'm gonna just go see if they have any new stuff, anything that catches my eye. Also, if you haven't already, please go hit that subscribe button. You will get three brand new videos from me every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And with no further ado, I will see you on the inside of Ulta. Okay guys, so first I walked over to the ColourPop section. I was just looking to see if they had anything new or anything that I needed to replace or repurchase or anything like that. Right here is the NYX. This is like long lasting lipstick and they literally were out. They had none. I wanted this top color right here and it's even out on the Ulta website which is a bummer because I really want to try that. I did pick this up last time in my haul in the lightest shade right there. You can see the lighter shades are out of stock. Down here are just some more lippy products. And these bright pencils for your eye caught my eye. So I thought that was pretty cool. They had a lot of different colors. Pinks, orange, teals, purples, blues. Moving on over right here. This is the NYX Ultimate Eye Palette. They did have some more face products down there. And then this is the Makeup Revolution side. This is all the Vitamin C stuff. I do have a few of these products that I did pick up at my local Target, actually. These are all like primers, mattifiers. This one here is the color corrector. And then they have two other ones also right there. That is the Glass Skin Primer. That's not supposed to be there, but these are the Revolution Setting Sprays right there. And then as you can see, pretty empty right there, you guys. Wasn't too pleased with that. Just foundations on that side. And I did do a, I think a wear test on this right here. Um, wasn't my favorite. It has literally, I want to say almost no coverage. It really looked like a moisturizer that I put on my face. I couldn't tell that it had any coverage. Down here are my favorite highlighters of life, you guys. I always use the one in just my type. They didn't have it. They were out of stock. They do have lots of other ones. This one here is also pretty. But it's just a little bit dark for my skin tone. So I think the Just My Type one is the perfect one if you are my skin twinsy in the tone. <laughs> so this white one right here is actually lighter than the Just My Type. I think Just My Type is the second lightest. So I'm not so sure about that. I'm not too into white highlighters. There's a big mess right here. And then they have the Makeup Revolution Blotting Powder. Which I do have one of these at home. It's not my favorite, but it is not bad also. Um, I do have two of these lipsticks or liquid lip glosses. They're pretty pigmented to be a lip gloss. And up here they do have a... This one here is a purifying primer water. And then the one right beside it is actually a setting spray. That one right there is a calming setting spray. So some more lippy products down here I was looking at these little palettes that I eyeballed last time I was there they look really pretty but I just really don't like the shimmer shades in there I like my shimmer shades to be like a champagne gold or a white or a silver or something like that that I can put on my brow bone and my inner corner for a highlight and these palettes don't have that. Also, these little pink and purple palettes are really cute. Moving on to the Essence Cosmetics. They are loaded up with so many different mascaras, you guys. Like, loaded. I don't know if you can see that. It, it, they, the mascaras went all the way to the back. My favorite blush of life. It is buy one, get one. And I'm sorry, you guys, if you hear the fan in the background. It is hot in this room, even though I have air on. So I do have the fan on low. Just wanted to 
put that out there but they do have all the little lippies in stock and i love 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 this lip this lip gloss right here this squeeze tube it is so easy to keep in your purse and i was actually eyeballing this color that i don't have at home and i have a lot of these shine 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 lip glosses because this is my favorite lip gloss it's not sticky it's not thick it lasts pretty good to be a lip gloss they do have this fix and last 18 hour spray and then i was also eyeballing this hello good stuff it's a three-in-one watermelon primer and setting spray mist i did end up getting this so i will let you know in a upcoming video or use it to show you what the spritzer looks like and so on moving on to the juvia's place i'm going to be totally honest here they do have beautiful products eyeshadow palettes I'm not sure about the foundation. Um, my sister did use it and told me she didn't really love it. But the products look very beautiful, especially the eyeshadow palettes. And I will probably end up getting one. I honestly don't own anything from that brand. So moving on right here, Revlon. Just not my favorite, so I just bypassed it a little bit. They're not bad cosmetics, I'm just really not into what they offer. So I have been looking for this shade right here for a long time. That is the Milani Under Eye Peach. I think that's in 110 or 120. They do have a lot of other stuff in stock that I have been looking for in my local Walmarts. They do have this um, that is a cream blush. And then all the lippy products down there. Moving over, they did have some... This is the biggest freaking sponge I think I've ever seen. I don't know if it's doing any justice on camera, but it's huge. I really do love Real, Real Techniques sponges. Um, second to the Haley's Beauty. I think Haley's Beauty tops it for me. That is my favorite sponge. But after that, it is definitely the Haley's Beauty. And then they have all the Ardell lashes over here, which personally, I don't wear fake lashes so i just bypassed that whole section and ulta brand has cute little sponges that i have never used and then i noticed over here this jacqueline cosmetics they didn't have too many things in stock but these little lippies right here caught my eye jacqueline has some really good colors and i did pick up two i did get the get real and then this one down here I'm a cancer and I am going to probably use either one or swatch them both in a next upcoming video but I was just curious to see how the formula is if it lasts all day if it's drying if it flakes off all that good stuff so I did pick up two of those and underneath I really wasn't sure what else that she offered because nothing else really caught my eye so just checking out all the colors. The colors are really beautiful, you guys. There is a good range of nudes and shades like that. So not sure what this brand is right here. I don't know if I've ever even heard of it. And moving on over to the Too Faced. I was looking for the, I think it's called Cloud Pout. It's like a lip primer, but I honestly did not find it or I either just didn't see it because I was kind of in a rush. I've always seen these little eyeshadow palettes here online, but checking them out in person, the colors look totally different than what they offer online. Like, the colors just look darker and not as bright as they are in person. So I was pleased to see that I actually like two of the palettes and might go back and get a few. Right here are just all the lip injections, which you guys i do not prefer i don't like the stinging feeling on my lip which these do do i would rather have something like the buxom which is just a cooling sensation i cannot stand when something stings my lips and on top of that i have really sensitive lips and sometimes i will actually get a like lip bump from using plumping cosmetics so not what I was looking for. Over here in the Kylie Cosmetics, she does have some face care, which I'm not into. I've got my morning routine down and my night routine. So we're just looking for some more lippy products or maybe even a highlighter, which is the Kylie highlighter. 
and then over here is the sugar rush by Too faced which is really cute everything is yellow i do have this mascara at home it's just in the regular purple packaging but right here it is yellow you guys and this skin i think it's called skin treat um i tried one time and it did not work out for me so we're just trying to see what else they offered in this section right here that is a highlighter palette but it is busted up they do have some little minis down here i think you get five yeah five or ten dollars i can't read the thing but it's like if you buy more you get more but look at that little skin treat right there like you would use that in one go i would use that in probably one go and it's ten dollars so i do not think so i would rather just buy the full version if i was going to honestly use it but five for 25 that's what it is i just saw i couldn't remember but if you buy one they're literally ten dollars so moving on i walked over to like the lotion and the body butter section i just wanted to see what they had over there they do have this grapefruit body butter or body yogurt i should say this one here is the mango body yogurt which i did end up getting i am not into the fake rose scent at all i know some people really like that i honestly don't um, but i did get that mango yogurt so hopefully i like it it smelled really good and then just moving down right here i saw the wet n wild spongebob collection which they actually had in store and not just online i wanted to get um one of the like sponges makeup sponges i think it was the patrick one but they did not have it in stock they did have a few setting sprays one is a primer and one is actually a setting spray this one right here you can see so much glitter in the bottom and i'm just not into sprays with glitter so i just put that back they have all the little eyeshadow trios and palettes and primers and they had the tinted moisturizers and the foundations and the highlighters and the bronzers and the concealers and the lippies so that was totally stocked in full over here is the la girl section they also do have some bright and colorful shocking eyeliners which i do own a few and they were on clearance some of them for $2.99 but down here i was looking for a big it's a bronzer and they didn't have it here i saw it at my local five below and i might go back in there and actually do a video i have never did a five below video on my channel so i might go back and do that but they do have all the other stuff they had three of these la girl eyeshadow palettes which i did buy my daughter one last time but I honestly was really looking for that bronzer and they didn't have it. So I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this video up and go on and pay for the things that I did pick out. So you guys, I just came out of Ulta. I only got two things. I wasn't in the market for a lot of stuff, but I actually didn't see a lot of stuff that I wanted either. There is the Ulta right there. That is the one closest to my house. Sometimes they are stocked up on stuff and sometimes they are not. It just depends. But yep, that is it you guys. I hope you enjoyed this shop with me video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.